right, folks, we are back again, and we are now moving on to heart dissection. So these are deer hearts. So we have, um, we're going to look at the outside of the heart in this video and then the inside of the heart on the next video. So when we look at the outside of the heart, the bottom of the heart here where it kind of comes to a point, that's going to be the apex of the heart. Um, when we look at the heart, you can kind of see these little flap-like structures here and here. Here. Those are called the auricles, and so this is the right side of the heart, so this is the right auricle, and over here this is the left side of the heart, so this is the left auricle. Um, those are associated with uh, the atria on the right and left side of the heart. We're going to look at some of the coronary vessels, so these are the vessels that serve the heart itself. So um, if we kind of open this up just to show you this real quick, inside here, here we can see the openings for the two coronary vessel. So this thinner side here is the right. So this is the opening for our right coronary artery. And this one right here is the opening of our left coronary. And you can see the thickness of the, the heart there when you look. And that helps you determine right from left side. So if we kind of keep that in mind, and we come put this back here, this is our right side here, this is our left side here. On the right side, we're going to see that right coronary is going to come out and kind of run along this area right here. This is going to be that coronary sulcus right in here, this little groove is the coronary sulcus. So the coronary sulcus here. As we kind of follow the vessel, that right coronary artery around and come to the side of the heart. So I'm going to kind of pick this up and it's a little slippery. Um, along here, this is the, like a margin. So this is the marginal branch of that right coronary artery. And that vessel kind of also travels along to the back side of the heart and it comes along down here. And this is gonna be the posterior interventricular branch of the right coronary artery here, right down the middle and the back of the heart. If we follow the left coronary artery, so remember those coronary arteries, the left comes out here, it's gonna travel along here. Um, you will see that you have the, this, the, the kind of the, groove that you're seeing here, that's the anterior interventricular sulcus. So the depression is the sulcus and then the vessel that runs in there is the anterior interventricular um, branch of the left coronary artery. So it's running right in that, that groove there. The left coronary artery also travels around to the side here and you will see as it kind of wraps around, that's considered the circumflex. So circum, like to circumnavigate is to go around. So the circumflex artery comes around here and then it goes down the side, just like on the right here. And you're gonna get the marginal branch of the left coronary artery here. So you'll see that. The vein that we're gonna really focus on is on the posterior side and that is the coronary sinus. It's a really kind of like thin floppy structure here. So this right here, kind of above all this fatty material here, that's gonna be the coronary sinus. That's where all the blood that has been, um, is coming from that cardiac tissue ends up right here and that's the coronary sinus and that's gonna end up dumping into that right atrium to turn that blood back to the heart.